Hi, Kipsters. Today, we're going to learn how to find the greatest common factor of two or more numbers. In the past, you have learned how to find the greatest common factor by making clubs or groups for the, factor, for the products and then finding the factor pairs that make up that product. You always start off with 1 times that number, so 1 times 20. Is 2 a factor of 20? Yes. How many times can 2 go into 20? 10. Um, then, is 3 a factor? Well, a quick way to figure out if 3 is a factor of any number is to add up the digits in that number. The digits that make up 20 are 2 and 0. So 2 plus 0 is 2. If 2 is a multiple of 3, then 3 goes into that number. If not, then 3 is not a factor. And it is not. So therefore, 3 is not in the, a factor of 20. What about 4? Yes. 4 times 5 gives you 20. And 5 is already there, so the factors are done. Now 12. 1 times 12? 2 times 6? 3. Let's see. 1 plus 2 is 3. Can 3 go into 3? Yes, without any remainder, so 3 is a factor. 3 times 4 gives you 12. And 4 is already in the club, therefore we're done. So to find the greatest common factor, we look for the shared common factors, but we look for the largest one. Well, they share 1, so that's a common factor. They share 2. They share 4. They don't share 5. They don't share 10. They don't share 20. So what was the largest shared factor that both of 20 and 12 shared? That was 4. So the greatest common factor was 4. However, I'm going to show you how to use the method that they use in India to find the greatest common factor. First, we prime factor out each number. And you can watch the video on prime factorization for more information on how to do this. It's 2, 10, 2, 5, 2, not 2, but 5, and 1. Because we only use prime numbers here. So the prime factorization of 20 is 2 times 2 times 5. Let me just make this clear for you. And then prime factor out 12. 2, 6, 2, 3, 3, 1. The prime factorization of 12 is 2 times 2 times 3. Now, to find the greatest common factor, we're going to look for the common factors that show up in both of these numbers, 20 and 12. We're going to look in this column, and we're going to look in this column. Now, use your finger and cross out if they actually share. I see a 2. Do I see another 2 over here? Yes, so cross out that 2. Move your finger down. I see a 2. Do I see another 2 over here? Yes. Does it have to be on the same line? No, it just has to be on the side. I see a 5. Do I see another 5? No. Therefore, the only common factors that they have are 2 and 2. Well, these are factors, so we're going to multiply them to find the greatest common factor that they have. So to find the GCF, greatest common factor, you multiply the factors to get the answer. So, multiply the crossed out numbers. 2 times 2 is 4. And the greatest common factor of 20 and 12 is 4. A much simpler way of getting it done now that you know how to do prime factorization. Instead of doing one method for GCF, another method for least common multiple, and another method for uh, prime factorization. You just use one method, and that prime factorization method helps you to find these other two components of math. Let's find the GCF of 36 and 27. Well, the first step is to prime factor out 36 and 27. Let's prime factor it out. 2, 18, 2, 9, 3, 3, 3, 1. Next one, see if you can do this one on your own before I do it. 3, 9, 3, 3, 3, 1. Now, the prime factorizations are listed. I'm going to look for common factors. I see a 2. Do I see another 2? No. I see a 2. Do I see another 2? No. I see a 3. Do I see another 3? Yes. Cross it out. I see a 3. Do I see another 3? Yes. 
Now the key here is not to touch this column for now. Don't touch it. All you want to do is see what they have in common and cross it out over here. Now, the GCF is the product of the crossed out factors. So, what is 3 times 3? It's 9. So the greatest common factor of both of these numbers is 9.